What is going on YouTube? Tamagotchi here, coming at you with another set of Ultra League battles. But this time we're using Wall Rain and Shadow Machamp again. But we finally built an XL Talonflame. And my goodness, Talonflame does actually do very, very well. But I think the real duo in this is the Wall Rain Shadow Machamp. They really, really, really help each other out. Wall Rain baiting out that fighter. And then Shadow Machamp destroying the Scrafty or absolutely destroying opposing Wall Reigns or Obstagoons. Shadow Machamp is just so strong. And then Talonflame with the Brave Bird. After you get all the shields when Wall Reigns does its Icicle Spears or the counters and cross drops. Man, this team is absolutely wicked strong. So, let's get into these first matches here. We have Wall Rain into Registeel. I have two better answers. I'm going to swap right away into my Talonflame. And they have a Swampert. So, you know what? I'm not baiting here. I'm going straight for this Brave Bird. Is it going to get the shield? No, it does not. My goodness. And uh, I think I let the Talonflame go down from here. My Shadow Machamp can handle that um, Registeel when it wants to come back in. So, we're going to take this EQ, no problem, and then we are going to farm up to the Earthquake, and I do believe I, yes, okay, I throw the Earthquake, it's, I could have baited, but if they decided to no shield this, because Registeel can survive, they decided to shield that, which is honestly fine by me, and then they bring in a Talonflame, oh my gosh, now we're baiting, because you know what, if they no shield this, they are going down, or sorry, if they no shield that, that would have been very bad for us, and uh, from here, we're going to shield up this flame charge, and we're not going to throw as soon as we get to that rock slide, we're going to throw a couple more counters, just before that second incinerate clicks right through, and this rock slide is going to be destroying that talent flame, see you later, my goodness, and uh, this is just a pretty, pretty straightforward match from here. I'm going to farm up a lot more energy. Almost, I think the two cross shops. And then I bring in the wall rain. So, I force, I get clear that debuff. And then I force them to throw their zap cannon or focus blast to take us out. And two cross shops should, should probably do it. But Registeel is so tanky. Look at that. Oh, you don't even get to see the damage. The opponent top lefts. Okay, hopping in to the next match here. Great lead, Wall Swampert into Wall Rain. And what do you know, another Registeel. We're a little bit late swapping in. So the issue here is they get to the Zap Cannon before we reach the first Flame Charge, which kind of sucks. Uh, you want to swap in right away so you can get to that Flame Charge before... They reach that zap cannon. If I would have wouldn't have thrown that first powder snow, I would have definitely reached that uh, that first flame charge. So probably maybe would have had them switch out for a shield. But anyways, we get the shield there, and uh, we're definitely gonna shield this up because I want to keep switch advantage. And if they decide to no shield this. Then they are going down, but we actually farm all the way down. My gosh, that is so much energy. And this Brave Bird is going to chunk the heck out of that Shadow Swamper. And I'm hoping to catch... Oh, and it's a Giratina. This game is so over. Oh my gosh, this game is so over. All shields are down. Ice School Spears are going to absolutely destroy this Giratina and... We get the second one off before they even get to a Dragon Claw. Oh, never mind. They shield that and they know it's game over from here. GG's to my opponent. Another top left. Two games in a row. All right. Tapu Fini. A little bit of a core breaker for this team. But Wall Rain should be able to handle it. And they bring in their own Wall Rain. So I farm up a little bit of energy, which is a... Eh. Kind of a misplay on my end because these Ice School Spears, they hurt. Shadow Machamp is so glassy, and we don't one shot with the cross shop, so I think we're gonna we might have to expend a shield here if we want to keep switch advantage. So let's see, yeah, we're we're definitely gonna shield that up, and then the good thing is is they just gonna have to water gun us down. Bad thing is is they are gonna water gun us all the way down. 
So I'm hoping for a no shield here on this rock slide. Just because I want to get some damage off. Or I'm maybe a shield would even be better. But that rock slide damage absolutely chunks. And now we have an issue. Because that Tapu Fini absolutely destroys both my team here. But we can tank that in Moonblast. No problem. I'm going to bait with the Ice School Spear. Which I definitely shouldn't have done. Because... <laughs> you love to see it oh my gosh yes so we're gonna take this second weather ball we are going to uh throw one more incinerate and then we're gonna throw the flame charge so now we only have to throw one more incinerate for the next flame charge here and he is so low that we're almost at two ice school spears and the next ice school spear is definitely gonna ko so even if i didn't throw that first ice school spear i don't know this game would have been maybe a little bit different and we have a shield left so first ice school spear coming in i think either way i would have had this game with the bomb of snow in the back and before they even get off a surf this ice school spear is going to be taking out that tapu fini see you later ggs to my opponent there Hopping into the next match, we have Wall Rain into Wall Rain. Um, I don't really know if I wanted to stay in this matchup or not, but I didn't want to take as much damage on the Talon Flame. And I, oh, I remember this game. Oh my gosh, I tried to catch an earthquake. I successfully have done this in in future games, but and then I make another big mistake here. I should have baited. Oh, gosh, no. Uh, if I would have baited, I would have made it to that second Brave Bird. But, hey, Farmer's down. That Blast Burn is going to... Blast Burn's a massive move. That hurts. Takes out half my health. And uh, I have to expend all my energy on this Charizard here. And now I bring in my Shadow Machamp to farm down. Let's see what they have. Oh. I mean, this might be doable. But, like, my switch timer. If Maybe if my switch timer was a little bit... Uh, maybe if the switch timer was a... I had better switch timer. But even then, that uh, wall rain is pretty freaking loaded on energy. So... This game is so over. I don't know why I'm not top lefting. But whatever. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This high school spear is going to KO us. And that is a GG's from there. There's my top left. So, hopping into the next match here. Talonflame into Wall Rain. I mean, it's, you want to do, I think, seven Powder Snows? Or just before they reach that flame charge, you want to throw it so you can farm up to like one and a half ice school spears. And even if they do throw the brave bird, it doesn't KO. But this player decides to throw the flame charge, which is fine by me because now I'm just going to build up a little bit more energy. And this ice school spear should be doing a little bit more damage. Yes, it does. And uh, I'm fine with them taking us out here. But it doesn't even take us out. And you know what? We're actually... Oh, we are so close. So I decided to bring in my Shadow Machamp. Just get a little bit more farm off. I think either way, I could have brought it, brought in uh, Talonflame or Shadow Machamp. But either way, we get the last... We are sorry. We get the first shield there, which is fine by me. And I think I shield this just in case. Yes, it is the Shadow Ball. So that was a really good shield on my end. And now the issue is, well, I guess it's not an issue. We have an energy advantage against this wall rain. So we don't have to shield the first ice school spear. We can let that go through. But we're going to be so amped up on energy or on the f flame charges that our incinerates are just going to absolutely murder this uh, Trevenant here. And I, I totally forgot this Trevenant when his energy dries. So I probably could have farmed this guy down. 
I mean, look, now well, we still have a flame charge locked and loaded, and we get to this cross chop. But this cross chop doesn't KO, so my opponent makes kind of a rough decision on shielding. Because he could have farmed up a lot of energy here. And right before I got to the cross chop, thrown the seed bomb. But I, I don't know who wins CMP. I think Trevenant might win CMP. Just because it's a super attack way to Pokemon. And they could have taken me out with the Shadow Ball. But I don't know if you can store a C-Bomb and a Shadow Ball. But anyways, that was a 4-1 set. I ended up going another 4-1. This team is actually really solid. I've gained probably 200 ELO on it now. So, try it out. Shadow Machamp is a beast. Talonflame is a beast. Wall Rain absolute monster super meta team but if you're get, looking to gain elo and you know gain fast try this team out it worked out very well for me and i hope it works out for you if you do try it so i hope you liked the video if you did please hit that like button comment if you want to see anything in the future or if you've seen any if you uh, have any teams that you want me to try out and i will definitely give them a try and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. And like always, I will see everyone in the next video.